Hey guys, this is Mad for Creative, and today we're looking at Threads. This is the new, basically, Twitter by Meta. Um, I saw my one of my friends post a link to their Threads, and I was like, okay, I thought this wasn't gonna be available for a little bit, but then I saw immediately, this is available, this is the time when you download it, if you're going to download it. I downloaded this in like the first two hours, but literally I am like two million out of the first. So it's it's really pulled me in by showcasing itself on Instagram when somebody posted something where it's very easy to repost this on Instagram, but this is basically it. This is the profile. This is my profile right here. I just have four followers right now. It's Matt B, it's my, I guess that's my handle everywhere. There's my profile picture, which I chose to import from Instagram um, because you can import whatever you want. I have one of my links imported here too, but I can, <coughs> sorry, I can edit my profile, I can share my profile. I have my threads and I have my replies. Now I've only made two posts and I can see that there are other things that you can do before you really follow people because the people they chose to follow were the people who are closest to me when they choose to join threads. It will have me automatically follow them. But for right now, I don't believe I'm following anybody except for one account. Um, but look, I just kind of had some funny things. My bio, which you can make it whatever you want, and I said, this better not be like Twitter. And my first two posts were, wow, my first tweet, and finally a place where I can post my photos because Instagram is really what I'm going for. I'm a photographer, I'm a YouTuber, it really makes sense for me just to post things with visuals. I'm a very visual person, I am not somebody who really clicks on links, who reads a lot of text, or a little text, it's just something that do it doesn't appeal to me. Twitter already was not something I liked, and on top of the way that Elon Musk, who is he's not really the genius that we all thought he was, he's having this... this app implode on itself and the 44 billion that it put into it, it's going to go really nowhere. But I mean, this is just a, basically, it's another one of these copy apps that Mark Zuckerberg and Meta really releases to kind of crush the competition. But at least in this case, um, it's crushing Elon Musk and it's uh, diminishing his valuation. So that's just something that that's out there. All right, let's take a look at the app. By the way, if you are, I used to be the biggest Elon Musk fan until it's progressively just gone down that he either doesn't know what he's doing or he's doing these stupid things by choice. You know, I have to say exactly what's on my mind because there is a reason that this is going to be taking, this is going to be doing well and already has over 2 million users in two hours, which is maybe an hour ago. So we'll see how many users they have now. Just know that as a backing for all this. All right, so these are people that I do not follow. I don't follow enough people to have my, my feed populated with, I guess, my, my following only. So you can see there's this uh, Nicole Chiotti or something like that. Um, Twitter feels so ancient, 21 replies, 74 likes. So people are already getting traction with this. But if I wanted to, I could click the plus sign and follow this person. And I don't know why. Is this one of my friends? because they have three posts here back to back and that feels pretty good. Rethread if you're deleting the Twitter app. All right, so what's your favorite part so far? So they're trying to boost engagement here. Is this something that I, is this somebody that I follow? Oh, I was trying to like take a look to see. Bay Area, Family Life, I really don't think so, but they're doing a good job so far. Wearing, so yeah, they're really doing a good job just getting people engaging with their content. Over 2,500 followers. Let's see exactly here because for me, well actually first, I sweat, I set my Instagram to dark mode. That's just how I live. I like it looking dark. This one, I did not select anything. It didn't even ask me to select anything. So if this is kind of how it is, I already like it so far because I don't like uh, Twitter's old backing that's very white and bright. I like things to be dark. But as you can see here, text, 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 Here's our first video. So you can open this up. It's just kind of like a New York video. I live in New York City, so I'm gonna get a lot of New York content and New York influencers here. And you can see there's the little bar, can we tap? 
oh, tapping pauses, it doesn't allow you to like, play, like do much more of the video other than see the progress here. So let's swipe it away. Let's go here. We're gonna like this piece of content. We're gonna go down. Uh, not without my top eight, that's a reference to MySpace, which is kind of funny, and that's facts. And again, this is exactly what people on Twitter do. They say something witty, and then they comment on it, hopefully witty as well. And maybe this is what I'll do, but for me, I, I usually think of myself as somebody with quick wit, but I just don't like doing that on, like, on Twitter or now on threads. I'm usually somebody who does that in real life. Uh, oh, Tiono Skits. This is somebody I think I follow, or maybe I followed at one point, it just kind of makes comedy skits, those kind of fake things that you can laugh at in some cases and some are just annoying. Um, I don't know this person. This, I, what I would, tr what I would really think is this just trying to feed into my Instagram likes and whatever, and maybe to try and populate this with people it thinks that I will choose to follow, but I don't know what the, who this person is or what they're doing or why they bleach their hair. Zodiac sign, I'm not really interested in zodiac signs. Gemini, what is this? This is kind of weird. I don't know any of these kind of things. This clean aesthetic of this jaunt makes it easier to use. I do like how clean it is. And this is just me. This is the very first time that I've really been using it. I signed up for this. I basically said import my data from Instagram to here because I really don't use Facebook that much. And I was just meta kind of doing this. But what I really want to take a look at here is I want to see these three other buttons. I've used the one in the middle. That's how you compose your thread. I literally almost said compose your tweet. Um, this is the profile where we began. This is home. Now, what can we search for? We can search for either people or let's just, um, what's something we can search for? Um, I just want to choose something that's like kind of like unique. Okay, here's a company that I really like, Malin and Getz. It's a candle company. Let's see if they are on here yet. Malin, and there's plus. Are they on here? They are not on here yet. Now I did see that SportsCenter is on here. Let's see if ESPN is on here. ESPN Los Angeles, Woj ESPN. He's like a, a person who breaks a lot of stories in the sports world, but no, just regular ESPN. That's interesting. And you can see these are legit. Also, you can see, I don't know. I honestly don't know if this is a carryover from Instagram or if you, if you eventually are going to have to pay to have the blue check mark per app. I literally don't know how that works yet. Um, I want to take a look because this is brand new. These corporate accounts are going to take a long time to actually import. These individual users are going to do a little bit better. Let's see Apple. Is Apple on here yet? Apple is not on here, but Apple Insider is. Um, let's see, because these are just things that I use. Let's see DJI. I have a lot of their cameras. DJI Global is here. And look, they're very, for, what is that? That little, what does this mean? Oh, it's a, th oh, okay. I thought that was like a link or something with a slash through it. Ready to thread the needle. Literally, let's see. That's just, is this a, I think it's a GIF. GIF, I forgot how you pronounce it. But you can see people already responding. Oh, you can respond with video, that's great. That's something I kind of miss. Or I don't, like, I really feel like that's missing out in Instagram, responding with a video, not just a GIF, a GIF, because um, I would like to respond with my, oh, my own content, too. So you can see somebody's biking there. Most likely shot in a drone. You get your drone shots. So I can follow this if I want. I'm, I'm going to see if I can resist uh, cluttering myself with, with this stuff yet. So we'll, we'll see. Like eventually down the line, I will. But let me go to one of the first, and actually I think the first one that I did follow. How do I look at my followers? Oh wait, what's heart? Oh, this is my activity. This is all, these are the people that follow me. These are the replies, nothing yet. Has anybody mentioned me yet? Verified, I have no idea what that even means because I'm not verified and 
my friends aren't verified, but this is the first account that I follow. I don't know what purple means. I'm assuming that just means we're friends. <laughs> so this is all day NYC. This is one of these um, New York influencers. I believe I met them at some point and they basically said, okay, nobody cares, but people care because 108 or 184 people are following you. Y'all better not tell old folks about this one. I'm hoping this ends up being like 2020, 2010 Twitter. That would be funny. And let's see what replies we have here. Good times, those who are just got here. I'm feeling the vibes thus far. Like it literally for today is gonna feel like a very closed knit kind of group. It's gonna expand. All your favorite companies and not favorite companies are gonna be there. Is there gonna be a Twitter like little thing here just as Mark Zuckerberg has an account on Twitter itself? We'll see. We'll see exactly how it is. Now, these are people that I do not follow, but have followed me. Let's see if they've actually posted something. Okay, this is in Spanish. I don't know what it is, but can it, does it have the translate feature? Nope, I wanna, does it have the translate? It does not have the translate feature. Instagram has the translate feature. I have a, n a number of Brazilian people that I follow and people around the world that I follow and I wanna read their posts and I, like if it's baked into the video or picture, I can't, but if it's in the caption, I can translate that. This one is not any long press. Does that do anything? No, I can just copy it. That's a little disappointing because just be able for me to translate that so I can see exactly what this is. Cause I don't know what this guy's saying. Um, just good parties. I guess this is one of those like New York promoters that's trying to do their thing. Oh, and you can repost. So this account reposted Thread Idea, last song you listen to, Go. This is the kind of trash that I just get so annoyed with. You're trying just to create engagement. For me, I'm creating videos that kind of maybe help people. I would hope that they help people. But for this kind of thing where it's just like, oh, post your favorite color. Is it black? Is it white? Is it yellow? And I'm like, I, who? Nobody cares. Literally nobody cares. You're just trying to create engagement. Like maybe if this was more my job, I would do that, but I would hope that I would find something a little bit better. This is kind of my resistance to a lot of things is I do not like just to create content for the sake of creating it. I know I've become a daily poster, but these are things that I do find interesting to me. I don't, I'm not really gonna do this. Like I'm gonna post links that benefit me onto content that I believe is good, but this is just kind of, that's dumb. I don't care about this. I'm not following this person. We'll go from there and um, yeah, so we can see exactly what it is. Maybe somebody somebody will reply to me or if I have replied to them, let's see. Um, this is just a search, that's MBK. Let's see, has he posted anything? And here we go. 74,000 already when DJI had like tooth, what was it? I forget what DJI, I'm following him for sure. One of my favorite creators, exclusive thread con Ah, uh, he is getting this good. Because I'm very curious to see what these people that I follow like on YouTube have to say. The number one thing Twitter has over Blue Sky and Mastodon and all the and all the other competition is always the people. And that's what will make Meta launching their new Twitter comp competitor thread so interesting. Porting everyone's handles over from Instagram meetings, there are people right away. Should be interesting. And that really makes sense. It was very easy for me to import this. I did import, it just asked if I want to import my username. And I think that, that that basically means my profile, but I had to go and specifically import my profile picture and import my bio and import my links. All of that I could have not done. Chirp, chirp. Is it allowed here? He literally had this for a day. You know he was one of those early people who was able to see this really early on. Is there anybody else that I should be following? Shakira, I don't know, Vice, I thought they went bankrupt. I would say this is a, this is a starting point. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna go. I'm curious to see if I'm going to be engaging in this and using it. I would say for this first, I'm going to say for the extent of summer, I'm going to be using this and 
everybody's going to be using this, but I really think this is probably going to go the way of Pokemon Go or the possibility of that. After people settle down and they stop traveling, they stop trying new things, I think the adoption is going to really slow in like September, October, or we'll see exactly what happens. If this is a strong enough replacement for Twitter, because people do like Twitter, just because I don't see the need really of it doesn't mean other people don't because Twitter has a huge amount of followers, but we'll see how many completely leave Twitter and start using this or dual use it. And also just remember that Twitter did one of the stupidest things ever and reduced the amount of content that you are able to view. That means you can spend less time on Twitter now that you can on threads where if you're a new member, it's like 3,000. If you are a current member, I think it's like 6,000 things you can see. I forget what it is if you're a verified member, but it's not infinite. Come on, guys, you just have to make it infinite. Like, you're, you're trying to crush this yourself. It's just kind of ridiculous. Oh, this just went into, like, dark uh, nighttime mode. Anyway, guys, I want to know your thread handles. Mine's M8B9, the same thing as it's been for Instagram. Maybe one day I'll get it verified, but it's literally no point in doing so. You know where to find me. But guys, I really want to see if you're going to use this, if you're not going to use this, but I think this is extremely interesting as just something that's just been released in the last few hours. It's going to be a small community and literally everybody Who's everybody is going to be jumping on this, and then we'll see exactly what happens. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, put everything in the comments section below. You know where to find me on Instagram and threads. That's M8B9. You can email me at creativenyc2023 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.